Alright, I am back with more Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Last time we took out Double Trouble and Night of Night of Misfits, which was very easy. As for new and shiny in 2020-2020, we did those before. And we actually got um uh, we got rewards for uh doing uh not new and shiny and double trouble. I wonder if we got anything for Night of Misfits too. Anyways, it's time for Foxy Foxy, which should be the easiest one yet. Considering we only have to deal with the right vent and the main hall. And plus the fact that Foxy is so damn easy to deal with. Oh, we got a balloon boy! Oh, that's so cute! So yeah, I don't think we have to worry. Yeah, we don't even have to put down the mask. We can just do this. Talk about convenient. Oh man, but that little balloon, his head is so big. That is adorable. I wanna, I wanna pet it. It's so cute. Come here, you little. Oops, my bad. Force a habit. So yeah, it's gonna be this for the next six hours. Man, this must be the most boring job ever. All this guy is doing is this for six hours straight. I mean, I hope he's getting paid. Oh no, wait, he gets fired. That's right. Man, it's your first time in the job. All you do is this for six hours straight, and then you're immediately fired. Wow, that's like, that's not even like put you in any risk for like this bullshit. No, it's just straight up like a waste of a. Just kill me. Wait, why isn't he killing me? Well, in that case, I'm just gonna sort of chill here until Marionette gets me. Oh, he's got a second mouth. Aww. It's like the other ones. Because you can use this opportunity to get a good look at him. There's no one there. But man, that's just like a waste of a night for this guy. Not like he's pissed that he didn't get paid, or he's pissed that his life was in danger and he didn't get paid, but instead of fired. No, it's just a waste of a night for this guy. Just think about this in a realistic situation, guys. I know it's a game, but jeez. Imagine his reaction when he goes home and tells his family, I pushed a button, then activated my flash, then I flashed my flashlight. Then I pulled up a camera, and I pushed a button, and then I put down the camera, and I pushed the two buttons again. Then I picked up my camera and pushed the button, then I put it down, and I did it for six hours straight, and they fired me. And like, well, obviously you were goofing off on the job. I mean, what were you thinking? No, no, this is my job. I'm getting paid to do that, and they fired me. Well, why did you do it then? Uh, something about me smelling. Yeah, I probably should take a shower that you told me to. And also, uh, possibly had something to do with that I may or may not have messed with the animatronics at a time where there's like this whole scandal about the animatronics like biting someone's head off. And, uh, I'm the only person in the vicinity that tampered with these animatronics that they can prove of, so I'm lucky I'm not arrested, I haven't been arrested, but yeah, I have no idea, Mom. I mean, seriously. And you know what? When I think about it that way, this, the, the, all the employees who worked here so far, Mike Schmidt, Jeremy Fitzgerald, and this Eric guy all suck as at their jobs. 
not, I mean, don't get me wrong, they beat Five Nights at Freddy's all 20 mode and stuff. When you think about it this way, their jobs are to watch the cameras to make sure no one's breaking into the buildings. You know, stealing money, vandalizing stuff. And you're just like playing with the animatronics. Also, I have no idea why I was checking the vent light, considering he'll make a noise when he's nearby. Oops. So yeah, I can basically just do this. I just need to be careful to make sure I don't put up the cams uh, while he uh, he's in the vent. So I'm keeping uh, close here for radio static. Oh, here we go. And he doesn't even stay around long enough for Foxy to be a threat. Maybe if he stayed there a little longer and forced me to keep my mask on a little longer, that would actually really be helping out Foxy. But, oh, I'm sorry, she decides it's a bad idea. Because remember, Ladies Night includes this guy. So clearly it's a girl. Oh, for a second I thought that. Never mind. Come on. So this is not as easy than I initially thought it was. Because Foxy stays in there for such a short amount of time. I'm sorry, Mangle. The only way you could die is if you accidentally messed up and checked the cams, like I did, while uh, Mango was in the room. See that he stayed for like two seconds. She stayed for like two seconds. Now I don't put on the mask. Oh yeah, that's right. Aside from Mango, the mask is practically not even needed tonight. I mean, think about it, we're only keeping it on for so long compared to how long it should be. Because Mango's almost never in the vents. Hell, it's not every, almost never even in the hallway. So much for 20 AI, it barely shows up. She barely- You know, screw it, I'm calling it it's an animatronic. But, the game refers to them as a girl by calling it a lady. Forget it, we're just calling it an it. So if anyone out there on the internet is debating uh, fo the Foxies, both of them, their genders, don't point them to some random Wikipedia article, even if it's like made exclusively by uh, Scott. Even if the Wikipedia article was just made by him, just, just call it it. Okay? Just tell them that's what it is. You know what? It's so messed up, it probably doesn't even have any uh, parts, if you know. Anyways. Point is, uh, just call it it, okay? I'll give this guy one thing, though. It's teaching me how to deal with foxies. I mean, seriously, these two show up in the hallway as much as they do on, uh, they show up in the hallway as much as Golden Freddy does, even with his AI on 20. I guess the only thing significant about this night is you could say, hey, I beat a knight when there was literally nothing but foxies. Oh yeah, so challenging. On uh, 20? 
Oh yeah, so challenging. Actually sounds like how my friend Max would react. Oh, there we go. So, I'm embarrassed I actually died in that one. Yeah! Lisa, I mean, I know it's making us watch the ending screen each time. But it... <sighs> Sorry. At least it's not, uh... Uh, making us watch full as the credits is drawn out sequence each time. Cause that would be bullshit. So Foxy Foxy is done. Next is l the Apl Ladies Night. We all saw this one coming. Now Mango comes to the right fence, Chica comes to the left, and Foxy's gonna occasionally appear down the hall. And the uh, old Chica's gonna appear occasionally too. So we're checking all three tonight, unfortunately. But it shouldn't be too hard, it's just Chica. Actually, we don't really, really need to check the left vent unless we hear uh, static, obviously. Also, if you see, if you hear static, but uh, it, it's gone whenever you put down the camera. That means that when you had the camera up, Foxy was somewhere uh, in the where the camera was pointed, basically. Who knows, maybe this night's actually going to be a bit challenging. I mean, pretty much everyone's going to be able to be stopped by the mask, except for you. But no one cares about you. Be honest. This is going to be quite a strange night. I don't know to what to make of it. Like, can't make heads or tails tonight, to be honest. I guess I could say, in terms of difficulty, it's probably day three material. No more, no less. Yeah, definitely day three. It's all a matter of patience with this one. I don't know why I did that, but okay. Let's eat! Also, a lot of people are, who watch this are probably gonna wonder how come on the pink slip it says, uh, employee number three, when so far the only two people who have been playing are, uh, oh, crap, I messed that up. Bye. And the only two people, the only people who have been working here so far. At least on the night shift, who are, uh, Jeremy Fitzgerald and this Eric guy. Well, I guess you could say that it should be four when you think about it. Because, uh, there's the telephone guy who worked here before you. And there's the guy who the telephone mentioned. Because one time, if you remember, the telephone guy actually said, uh, that there was another guy who complained, so they moved into the day shift. So, I guess if they're looking only at the night shift, that would be your third employee. But if you're looking at people who just straight up work, then it would obviously be much higher than three. Oh, we did get one! It's a Foxy doll! Oh, that is so cute! Little Foxy doll! Not that Foxy. The annoying thing is I have to move my mouse from the left side of the screen for the vent light all the way back over to the right side for the camera. Which is gonna get very annoying. And that voice is very annoying. And hell, my voice is very annoying. Oh, for the love of God. Also, I like how if you're way too slow to the point where you know you messed up, Chico would just outright kill you. But if you just barely missed it, then she won't pop up until you took off your mask to make you think you're safe. 
which is how the game likes to mess with you. <sighs> oh, why am I so tired? I went to sleep pretty early last night. And by my standards, pretty early is 10. Probably because I get up at 7 every morning. I mean, granted, if I was back in my old house, I'd have to wake up at 6 every morning, but guess what? I'm not. And I know there's people out there who get way less sleep than me, but eh, I'm still pretty tired. I can't wait until I can like grow up for the love of God, till I grow up and get a job. I mean, trust me, I'm in no rush to grow up or anything. I'm enjoying being a kid and having uh, like bills and everything paid for me. But if that means I can wake up like an hour or two later. I'll take it. I like sleeping. Mm, man, that little foxy doll. I wonder what we're gonna get for tonight. Like, will we be getting an old Chica doll or a new Chica doll? Or hell, maybe we're even getting Mango doll. I need to get into the habit of putting my mask on. Son of a mask. Yay! Oh, I thought that it was like that. I guess I was wrong. She actually kills you straight up no matter what. Regardless of whether you take off your mask. I was just being stupid. Also, how am I that bad? I mean, it's just Chica. We've dealt with her like pretty much every night so far, and it's not like she was exactly difficult on night six. She was probably one of the smallest causes of death on that night, when I think about it. That's weird. I could have sworn I heard some other music playing like. Like, not the music box music, but a different one. It sounded a bit more high-pitched than Christmassy, now that I think about it. But all the TVs in the house are off, so that doesn't make sense. It was that too late? Okay, no, good. Otherwise, I would've been pissed. You need to stop screwing up. Yeah, best advice for a video game ever, stop screwing up. Wow, one flash and Mango is gone. So much for 20 AI. Heh, <laughs> that one was lightning. Like greased up and buttered lightning, right there. Oh, that was close. Eh, not really. Considering the night. What I mean is Marina isn't too active on night 7. Takes it a while to get out of its box. Stupid hermit. Never comes out. Let's party! Also, like, I know that Night 7 is not canon in either of the games. I know Night 7 isn't canon in either of the games. But well, you think it's weird how the day after it closed down, uh, there's someone who comes in working. And yes, I know it isn't canon, but still. The person who wouldn't know that must have been very confused how the guy said yesterday that this place was being closed down for good. Or at least for a long time. Only to see that there's someone working there the next day. 
the person, the average player who doesn't know that Night 7 is uncanon might be very confused, you know, if they cared enough to think of it. Actually, the average gamer really wouldn't care. And man, you chica's fast. She just sort of went from like this vent right there to the hallway. And it's a long damn walk. Long walk to water right there. And if you haven't read that book, you should try it, it's pretty good. And no, don't check Google, there is no movie version. Can I see you? Close out Google. Yes, you. Guy in the red shirt. Who else am I talking to? You're the one on Google, aren't you? Okay, good. I messed. I thought I messed up that time. Oh shit! No, 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 no. It's no good. Ooh, close. Oh yeah, that's right. It's the night of the inactives. I don't even have to worry about him. What a pushover. Yeah, she could trick me last time by making a fake dumpy dump. Also, if anyone thinks it's annoying how I call weird banging the dumpy dump, play Markiplier. You have a problem? Play Markiplier. Hey, you got a house in foreclosure? Blame Markiplier. Oh, your friend just died? Well, blame drugs. Seriously, how bad do you feel now? Like it was your job to keep him safe. You, like how could you let this happen to him? I mean, really. He depended on you. He needed your help. He was addicted. He really needed you and you weren't there for him. Seriously, dude. Blame yourself, not Markiplier. He's not the source of all the world's problems. Actually, you might want to blame PewDiePie for that one. He's an idiot. He's here. Wild mango at least. Sometimes they're lazy too, but my cat is hyper. He never sits still. Mango. Oh, there we go. Poor Mango. Just when he thought it was gonna be Easter for once, or she, whatever. That's the other proxy for uh, ladies night. Let's see, 25 minutes. I'll just try the next one once. Unless by the time I beat Golden Freddy mode, I get some sort of a new editing stuff or tell me edit all these videos together. In which case I'll upload it as some super awesome marathon thing. So ladies night is complete. Freddy's Circus. Ooh, this is gonna be an interesting one. Let's see, the Freddy's only come down the hall, so does Foxy. But Balloon Boy comes through the left vent, and Balloon Boy comes in the night. 
So we'll just check the left vent in the hallway. And we should be good for Freddy's Circus. But first I want to see what new dolls we got, because they're so cute. Oh, you got a little chica. You got a cupcake. You know, cupcake. And I like how I know before even entering these levels what to look out for. Hello. And I just instantly know we don't even need to bother looking in the right vent. Man, I've been playing this game too much. Uh, so I like how others have just sort of like decided, okay, I give up when they beat night six. Now, I think Marmy Pan actually said that he would stop after night five, but, well, not necessarily. He said that he might continue if a lot of people really wanted it, and that would be a while from now, but I'm not counting that. Man, remember when we start out? We had absolutely no idea what we were doing. Like, the day this game came out, Everyone was so lost and confused. What do I do? First time player start. Okay, does the mask work for this guy? Or just use the light? Okay, does the music box that only works for one person? Does it work for uh? Does it work for Freddy? No, no. Uh, I learned that the hard way. Maybe we should use it on Foxy, maybe. And everyone was just like freaking out. And by this point, everyone just sort of like mastered the game, if you've made it this far at least. And same goes for anyone who's been watching my videos, I guess. Man, you were so lost the day this game came out. Oops. And we didn't know how to get rid of Balloon Boy or New Buck or Mango when he was in our vents. We thought that there was no pattern, like, and they could come from whatever vent they wanted. Man, looking back, it's like us, it's like humans of today looking back on the cavemen and thinking, Wow, were we that stupid at one point? That was oddly specific, I'm sorry. Hey, Freddy. Dude, your teeth are so yellow. Seriously, man, see a dentist. Forget the toothpaste, like, just go see if that guy can scrape it off your teeth. I mean, dude, you're disgusting. And make sure after that you always brush. Teeth look like they were burned to a crisp. I don't know, maybe it's all the cake he eats. I guess healthy cake is a lie. Well, actually, everyone knew that. You know, I don't play PC games too much, aside from Portal games and Five Nights at Freddy's and Containment Breach. But, uh, my first time that I heard the cake is a lie, I was hearing it everywhere. And for the longest time, I actually thought it came from Minecraft, of all things. Because I hadn't played Portal back then. And the funniest part was how, uh, I thought that, uh, I, well, it didn't help that one time I saw a custom map made by someone, and there was, like, a sign way up that said, the cake is a lie, with a giant cake that was, like, way off in the distance, and I, and that pretty much, like, solidified in my mind, okay, this came from, uh, uh, Minecraft. And it wasn't until years later when I played Portal that I learned which cake was the actual lie. Which one is the actual lie? And which one is the sort of lie? But either way, no cake seems true anymore. Okay, that's gotta be like some movie called The Cake is a Lie. And the tagline is like, no cake will seem true anymore. And it's a horror movie about a homicidal cake running around, rolling over, with a knife attached to it. Like, the handle is just sticking out of the cake. Before anyone tells me that's the dumbest idea for a movie ever, there was actually a, a movie called Robert that was about a uh, rubber tire coming to life and killing people. So don't you tell, talk to me about killer cakes being a bad idea. 
In fact, I'd probably actually watch that because that sounds hilarious. Call it a horror comedy. It would be like Haunted House. Why did I reference that? I'm sorry. I apologize deeply. And see, this is like our first try. We're already at 4 a.m. I was set to our second try and I forgot one time that we died. Which is probably the case. I haven't been paying attention really. But I'm sure if we actually did die, it would have stuck out more in my mind. So I don't think that's the case. As having died on such an easy night. I like how Toy Freddy thinks he can kill us. I mean, I'm sure if he keeps coming back, eventually we'll mess up. I don't see it happening anytime soon. Yeah. One, two, three. Two. Oops. Well, good thing Balloon Boy wasn't in there, otherwise we'd be dead. No wait! <laughs> Fuck me. Foxy was there, wasn't he? Yeah, Foxy was there, without a doubt. And his AI's on 10 nonetheless. <laughs> Nothing impressive, but wow. You know? I think I'm gonna go kill myself. I'll be right back. This is what it's like to be dead. Oh man, I'm a ghost now? You're kidding me. Wait, I'm in hell. And my eternal punishment is this. See you on the flip side.